Hey everyone, today Unreal Engine version 5.5 released, and it's packed with many different features like upgrades in animation, virtual production, mobile game development, and much more. So let's break down all the new features and see what Unreal Engine version 5.5 has to offer. First up, Unreal Engine version 5.5 introduces some awesome new tools that make it easier to create animations directly in the editor, so there's no need to keep switching between programs. Sequencer, Unreal Engine's animation editor, got a major upgrade. Now it's easier to set up cinematic scenes that change based on player choices. You can layer animations non-destructively, giving you even more flexibility. And you can use animation deformers for cool effects like squash and stretch, which are perfect for cartoon or exaggerated animations. Plus, the modular control rig has moved to beta. It has a new interface and support for characters with two or four legs and the ability to use common skeleton types. And MetaHuman Animator is now even more advanced, letting you create full facial animations from just audio, no motion capture required. Next, let's take a look at some game development tools. Unreal Engine 5.5 brings in the new Mutable Character Customization System. They say this system can be used to generate dynamic skeletal meshes, materials, and textures for characters, animals, props, weapons, and more, whilst optimizing memory usage keeping shader costs low and reducing the draw count. They plan to release a sample project with this plugin in the next few days. Then there's Choosers, which is a new tool for selecting animations based on what's happening in your game. They updated this in their game animation sample project, so you can check out the Chooser tool there. Mobile game developers will also love the mobile forward renderer updates, which now support advanced lighting, shadows, and screen space reflections. Unreal Engine 5.5 is also really pushing the envelope when it comes to rendering. Let's start with Lumen, Unreal's global illumination tool. It now runs at 60Hz on supported hardware, which makes scenes look super realistic without sacrificing performance. Then we have Path Tracer, Unreal's high quality rendering mode that's now production ready, so you can use it to create ultra realistic images or animations. Substrate, Unreal's new material editor, is now in beta. And here's something really exciting, Mega Lights. They say you can think of Mega Lights as Nanite for lighting. Now you can add hundreds of lights with dynamic shadows to a scene without slowing down performance. It's ideal for creating big immersive scenes with incredible lighting. Unreal Engine 5.5 also has some updates for virtual production. It says they updated the camera calibration system for super accurate camera settings and virtual scouting tool sets, which now supports VR headsets like Oculus and Valve Index, making it easier to explore scenes in VR. And then they also have a new color grading panel, giving artists better tools to adjust colors within Unreal Engine without needing additional software. Now for the developers, Unreal Engine 5.5 introduces Zen Server, which is now production ready. Zen Server optimizes how assets are loaded and lets you test your game builds on different platforms more easily. The Unreal Build Accelerator and Horde Continuous Integration System compilation times so you can iterate faster. And we have a Fab integration. Fab is Unreal's new content marketplace. Now you can drag and drop assets from Fab like you could with Quixel Megascans directly in your project. That means faster asset importing and less setup time. So that's a quick breakdown of all of the major new features which are in Unreal Engine 5.5. I think I may also do a video where I do more of a deep dive on the new features, but that's all. I wanted to let you know that Unreal Engine 5.5 is out. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.